California DA will retry Scott Peterson for death penalty. Prosecutors say, Scott Peterson returned to a Stanislaus. Caliph, court, albeit virtually for the first time in more than a decade on Friday for a hearing regarding his murder conviction in the death of his wife, Lacey, and their unborn son, Peterson, 47, wore a blue top and a blue face mask for the 8.30 a.m. PT court appearance at Stanislaus County Superior Court, where prosecutors revealed they intend to retry the death penalty phase of Peterson's case. Peterson appeared from San Quentin State Prison, but did not speak at all throughout the hearing. In addition to the death penalty, Friday's hearing addressed the institution of Peterson's legal representation. He was represented during the hearing, in part, by his former co-counsel, Pat Harris. Harris said Friday he would be representing Peterson as private counsel. On October 14, the California Supreme Court ordered his conviction to be re-examined to determine whether Peterson should receive a new trial. And in August, the Supreme Court overturned Peterson's death sentence, citing significant errors in the jury selection process. Stanislaus District Attorney Birgit Fladiger and Chief Deputy District Attorney Dave Harris one of the prosecutors in Peterson's 2004 case, were also present for the hearing. On Friday, prior to Peterson's appearance, his sister-in-law Jane A. Peterson told Fox News that justice for Lacey and Connor remains most important. As big as a tragedy as this that Scott's on death row. Ultimately we still don't have justice for Lacey and Connor, she said. Their murder is not solved, that's our goal, to not only free Scott but solve the crime, Mark Chiragos, who also represented Peterson at trial, told Fox News on Thursday he was not surprised that the case was sent back to San Mateo for review. I always thought he would get some relief at some point, and I am gratified to see it happen now, he said ahead of the hearing. Peterson was convicted in 2004 of murdering Lacey Peterson, 27 at the time, and their unborn son, Connor, Lacey was 18 months pregnant at the time of her death. In 2003, Stanislaus prosecutors charged Peterson with double homicide, but the case was later moved to San Mateo County, nearly 90 miles away from the couple's Central Valley home in Modesto. Investigators say Peterson took the bodies from their Modesto home and dumped them from his fishing boat into San Francisco Bay, where they surfaced months later. The case was called to be re-examined after the court said a juror committed prejudicial misconduct by failing to disclose that she had been involved with other legal proceedings. According to officials, the juror, Rochelle Nice, had filed a lawsuit in 2000 to obtain a restraining order after her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend harassed her while she was pregnant.